Today I'm here to sell a product called the Renaissance. None other than the rebirth of Europe through art, music, literature, and culture. Are you tired of living without really living? Are you fed up with the bubonic plague? Do you want to start a cleaner life? Yes! Yes! Then what are you waiting for? You! Then come on, it's not like Francesco Richarch, father of the Renaissance, waited on people to start humanism. Write poetry. Write in Latin and Italian. And invent sonnets. Excuse me, Leonardo da Vinci, will you paint me a portrait? Of course. But I also study science, including veins and muscles. Voila! It's beautiful. I think I'll call it Mona Lisa. It's beautiful! OMG, she got the bubonic plague. Who cares? We take baths and have other things to distract us, like trading in cities and riding on the newly invented paper. And she is correct about that. During the Middle Ages, no one barely took baths. No one liked to bathe. They didn't like cleanness. But in the Renaissance here, we have a sense of respect, a sense of cleanliness. We want our people clean and safe. Safe from the robotic plague, safe And you might sickness. also ask about women. Well, women get to know classics, inspire art, and get a better education, but... Didn't a man write in vernacular? <laughs> yup, Dante wrote in his native language. Italian and Latin. And if you're tired of not knowing about your body, well, but what? they have but no influence on politics. I mean, just look at her. Boo! What about my religion? If you're not a Christian, you'll be killed. But most Christians are becoming secular, more worldly rather than spiritual today, during the Renaissance. Can I be famous? Unless you gain an international reputation for painting like Sophisba and Guisola will write sonnets with Michelangelo, like Victoria Colonna. But if you want a good read, then read The Prince by Nicola Machiavelli in 1513. He examined human imperfection, which no one had done before. Didn't a man write in vernacular? Yes, a man by the name Dante wrote in vernacular his native language, Italian and Latin. He was one of the first. And if you're tired of not knowing about your body, well, I, Leonardo da Vinci, introduces how muscles move and now and how veins were and are arranged. See? I want to paint a picture. You might want to paint a religious painting. During the Renaissance, people painted, sculptured, religious paintings or paintings or sculptures that resembled the Greek and Roman country. don't like to look back at the Middle Ages because it's too dark and depressing. So they look back at the Greek and Roman art, sculptures, culture, music, because they thought it was and the way asked, of life. Literature and art and music was influenced by women and Greek and Roman statues, sculptures, and art during the Renaissance time period. Can I borrow money? Sure you can, but you might not want to let the Medici family know, because they charge interest. Why? Interest is the start of the banking. The banking world. The new world. The Renaissance. Because interest is the start of banking. And isn't the government organized? Yes siree. The Pope's not in charge of the king anymore. And if all of that is not enough information for you to sway your mind, if you call right now to join the Renaissance, the king himself will knight you. And if you're a grumpy prince, the king will supply you more land and will give you a place in his court. So what are you waiting for? Let me guess. Me? So call now. 888-735-8835. Call now at 888-735-8835. Again, call now at 888-735-8835. And I will continue to say this until you call. 888-735-8835. Thank you. Again, 888-735-8835. 888-735-8835. 888-735-8835. What are you waiting for? Join the Renaissance today. Don't wait on me. Pick up the phone. Call me.
Come join the Renaissance today. You'll be knighted, given land, given a place at the court. Just join the Renaissance. Jump on the bandwagon. Everyone else is doing it.